Okay. So we're going to talk about the MOSFETs. First off, they're ESD sensitive, electrostatic discharge sensitive. Uh, high voltage spikes, you know, that stuff when you run your feet across the carpet and bark somebody, they're very sensitive to that. So I've got a field here. This mat is a special mat. I'm grounded to earth ground. The critical thing to understand about ESD is that if I'm at the same potential as the component, there's no potential between them, and so therefore there's no voltage. So throw a piece of tin foil down on your table, touch the tin foil, it becomes the same charge. Dump out your components from your ESD bag that it comes in, this little guy here. It's at the same charge, should be fine. Let's talk about the MOSFET. This is the gate. We're going to trim this down until there's just a small amount of metal on there so we can solder to it. Next one over is the drain. We're going to basically run it out, lift it up just a little bit, and then curl the end. This last one is the source. We're going to take it and we're going to bend it right here at this little knee. I'm going to run it straight up and then we're going to curl it. That'll keep our drain and our source away from each other a good inch. That way nothing's going to accidentally touch. Okay. When you make your bends, make smaller bends. Curl it. Don't try to force it over in one bend. It could snap off. That should do it. Then I'm going to lift this slightly up just to make sure it doesn't get anywhere to the case. So it'll clear the case. It'll be up on the uh, aluminum oxide discs and should be well away from the bottom of the case. This last one do the same thing. Don't bend it at the case. It'll snap off. A, a gradual curve straight up and then at the top of this I'm going to curve it towards the FET I'll just repeat that three more times Okay, this next step is very critical. What we have to do is take an aluminum oxide wafer and a FET and stack them on top of each other and set them in the case. But we have to put heat sink compound and that's on your part list and very critical. We have to place it on both sides 
of the silicon wafer and make sure that it spreads evenly onto the metal and onto the MOSFET. I'm going to take a small amount of grease. It doesn't take much. Take another wafer. And just push them together. So you get a smooth amount on both on both sides. And flip it over and do the same thing. Just spread it around. When you take them apart, slide them apart, don't pull them because pulling will create bubbles. Uneven. Now I'm going to set it down in the case. And I'm going to wiggle it around until it, you know, those bubbles are gone in right over the hole. Then I'm going to take my fetch, do the same thing. Wiggle the fet around until it's stuck on there. And line up the hole. And I'm going to take my screw with my lock washer I'm just going to kind of set it in there, I'm not going to tighten it down yet I'm going to do each one of these that way Okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the back. Place it on the heat sink all over. As even as possible. <laughs> 